subbies and welcome to a very greasy start to vlogmas day three how is it day three i don't know anyway today is vlogmas day three i am greasy as heck right now because i didn't have a bath last night because i napped so by the time i woke up it was two o'clock in the morning and i'm having a bath at 2 a.m so I'm going to have a bath this morning before we go to Leeds. My plan today is to have a bath, go to Leeds, go by Rose, come back into Leeds, then go, come home, then go to Otley, then come home from Otley. All in time, ow, for work at 7 o'clock. It is so weird to have work at 7am, 7pm today, as it is now 9.04am. I woke up. Um, at eight, but well, I ended up being in bed for like an hour and early. Had breakfast. Last night's pizza was gorgeous. I cannot. How is it day three? I really do not get how is day three. My hair's a stayed, but I want to keep vlogmas as real as possible. So still not decorated my bedroom because it was just too late yesterday when I got home. I got home yesterday, I didn't vlog much yesterday because when I got home because um I got home and basically I just um I just basically had made like I had tea I think. I did stuff in here but I just sat with my mum and my sister so I didn't vlog much and I went to bed. Anyway, day three is here. That's the door. What is it? Oh, oh my god. 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 Look how adorable. How adorable is that? So this isn't an actual lint bear. It's got flat back, so it's a truffle. But look how cute it is. It's got a little hat and a little jumper. Oh my god. Let's see what this chocolate is. This is one of these six lint teddy bear milk milk chocolate with white filling. Ooh. So that's the lint one. Excuse me. Excuse me. But yeah, I got home and I just sorted stuff out that I want to sort out and then um, I had no tea for me and Lucy and we just watched, um, watched, we watched a Christmas movie so yeah, me and Mum and Lucy I went to bed. Number three on the dark advent calendar. I love this one. It's so aesthetically pleasing. I just shut it. And it smells amazing. I'm just going to go turn my bath off. Give us a minute. So here's number three. If I can open it one handed. There we go. Oh, it's another travel size one. <coughs> the conditioner to the shampoo that I got on day one and it smells amazing now for soap and glory and yes some of the clips I filmed yesterday are on my phone so it's a lot different but yes here is soap and glory yes my uniform is in the floor but I am going to be, I've got another set of uniform in my wardrobe that I can use. Um, so I'm not going to be using that one. Where's number three? Number three's there. It is the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Body Butter. It's a body lotion. And it's a uh, 50 milliliters. How cute. So that is number three, and all of them done. 
Ow. Don't look at your finger car. It hurts. So yes, now I'm going to sort my bedroom out a bit. Put my uniform in my under basket that's currently full. Um, put my other calendars away. Have a quick bath. I've got a massive spot right there and it's really annoying me. I'm trying not to pick it or burst it because obviously we're going to do that. Um, sort my bedroom out a bit. Have a quick bath. Dry my hair and then literally once I'm ready, I've got leads because obviously I have to have work. Tonight, even though it's tonight, my brain just is panicking. I'm going to get home in time, even though I am, which is really annoying. So, yes, I'm just going to do that. So, I should probably see you after my bath because I want to get on with it. Like, I can't ban it. I want to get on something like that. Yes, something like that. So, I'm fresh out of the bath. I ended up popping that in the bath. There wasn't actually much puss in it either. Look how this flipping lighting brings out all of my like, I don't even know what you'd say. It's like freckles and all my spots and all my imperfections if you like. <laughs> but no, um, I popped it. So now it's just leaking lovely grass liquid. Anyway, um, now at the bath, gonna dry my hair. Just written myself a shopping list because um, I'm getting six bottles of Prosecco from Sainsbury's because it's by six for 25% off from um, all supermarkets except locals. Um, and then I've got 20% off colleague discounts, so I'm going to get 45% off. Why not? Then I'm getting a tub of celebrations because um, they're cheap in supermarkets and local. I'm also getting some Sainsbury's chopped Christmas biscuits um, for my colleague because she can't find any anywhere and she really likes them, so I'm going to get some of them. I'm getting two ham sandwiches, one for my lunch and then one for my tea before going to work. And then I've got Lucy's Entertainer Order to pick up. I bought her, um, <coughs> she's obsessed with How to Train Dragon at the moment and nowhere seems to be doing stuff. I got to only do um, cardboard cutouts. I'm not getting a cardboard cutout because when you eat it, um, I think when he's woken up, um, yes yeah, she has. Um, so yes, I'm going to get, I've got her a Playmobile. Um, how to train dragon um playmobil set and i've also got her a like a blind bag egg if you like from entertainer and then i'm also going to find tiger in white rose because she wants a crane game which is like the arcade games where you have the crane it picks up toys and puts it out um mum wants me to get that she'll pay back for it for lucy so yes um that is my shopping list i'm gonna stick to it i do need to buy an outfit for my work do next week but i'm like <clears throat> It's going to cost me 30 quid in sales, but I don't have much money left. I'm like, it's going to last me two weeks. And I do need a Christmas outfit. I'm not wearing someone's last year. And as it's rather expensive, so I'm going to pop into Primark if I've got anything nice. But this year, it's all like sequiny and velvety. I don't want that. I just want like a nice dress or something. I don't want to wear the dress I bought from Asda for my Christmas Day outfit because I sweat really easily. It's so like I sweat through clothes so bad that I'm ended up having to replace clothes and like sweat stains everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to be wearing the Christmas dress to the work do, sweating through it and then wearing it Christmas Day. So I'm wearing that for Christmas Day. So I need a new out different outfit for the work do because I just I've really got a bed. I've got a really bad swimming problem. Deodorant don't do all, and the only reason I keep myself fresh is like spraying all day and changing clothes. So yes. Anyway, I'm now going to try my hair. My bag's all ready. She's put bags in it. Um, it's only ten o'clock, so I'm doing really, really well. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it at the moment. Um, my lips are like extremely. Yesterday they were all like cut. Today they're like it's like icing. It's like they're all they're extremely dry, but cracked. But they feel weird. Like extremely dry. Like they're very, very dry. Um, <clears throat> but that's just the weather. But yes, I'm now going to get my hair done. I'm now going to do my hair, which is only going to take like 10 minutes at most. Um, so yeah. So guys, I went down for 34 and unfortunately, right, it was showing on the bus app that the 34 would be at my bus stop for like 10.29. And when I looked on the tracker, there was no bus actually coming from Motley to my um, bus stop and I was like well it ain't there but I'll go down anyway went down and it came up saying 10 29 but it never showed up anyway I'm gonna there's a bus now that's set up from Motley so it's gonna get to my street about 
11 o'clock-ish. Um, I'm wearing my new earrings. These ones say Joy. You can't really read them. Um, Mum's gone out with Winnie for a walk with Lucy since I'm going out. But yes, look how chapped my lips are. Yesterday, they were like at this that stage where they were like, they were open as in like, they were really cracked, but like if I had some salt, like with a salt crisp, like in my lunch, and if the salt went in it, it would just scream in pain. Um, but today they're like, they're like really, really dry, but it's like, I can't describe it. It's not like it's open sore anymore. It's like it's healed, but it's like, it's crusty and I hate it. I put lip balm on every night, but I didn't put it on last night. Like, look how chapped they are. And I don't have any lip balm in my bag. So I think whilst I'm waiting for the time to tick by, I'm going to go upstairs and um, get lip balm put it in my bag. I did have a lip seal, but for some reason it's not in my backpack. It's not in my actual bag anymore. Because in this backpack now, because I'm using a new one, um, <clears throat> it's there's no pockets in it. So I was going to buy a little bag to put my stuff in, like my keys, my... Um, antibacterial, my antibacterial wipes, my tissues, my lip seal, everything else. Um, but I realised I've got this from Zoella, so this is coming on. It saved me 20 quid from buying a... Uh, I was going to buy a Ted Baker one from Tika Max for 20 quid, which is rather cheap. But I've saved myself 20 quid by um, getting this Zoella one that I had ages ago. But, like, you can see, like, the skin there, but it looks disgusting. But I don't have lip balm. And the only lip balm that I have got... Um, available is the peppermint one, but the peppermint one, it, it, I'm gonna put this, it sits on my lips but like it's peppermint, so it just tastes like mint and it's a stinging mint. And the other one I had was Lipsol one, which was just a plain, it was no taste at all. But I don't have it and I don't know where it's gone, which is annoying. I've got this Burt's Bees one, but it's peppermint. And I don't want that on my lips. I don't want a scented one on my lips. I do have Vaseline. But I don't like I want to have it like in a I want to have it in a stick, not in a pot. And I don't have it in my I've got Carmex. But this one's SPF. I might just use this. It's SPF 15. I got this for a lip, lip, I got this lip balm for like a, um, a summer lip balm with it being, um, sun cream, in, sun cream, I'm not sure. But yes, I'm gonna have to use this one, aren't I? Because otherwise, I'm gonna just break the seal. Oh, it's already broken. Oh no, it's, it's fresh new lip balm, that's nice. Otherwise, I'm gonna be going to Leeds with like lips that are very chapped. There. Lip balm's on. And the worst thing is about lip balms, there we go, the moisturise now, is that I drink a lot during the day from a bottle and when I have a lip balm on, it's like, when I have a lip balm on, when I'm drinking, that the lip balm goes onto the bottle which then makes the bottle taste. That's why I didn't want to wear a scented one. I didn't want to wear one at all but my lips are that chapped, it's like, I can't, I can't not, not wear a lip balm. So yes, in my little bag, I have my USB wire for my phone, tissues, my keys, my Victoria's Secret little, I got a little bottle of body fragrance from Victoria's Secret. It works perfectly, um, and it fits perfectly, and it smells so nice. Um, tissues, antibacterial, just stuff in there that's like general stuff, like, so that it does, it isn't in my, my bag loose, because it's just... Makes my bag such a mess, and I'm using this new backpack now, which you might have seen. Um, but yes, got my bag, got my purse, got my water bottle. I'm using my new Minnie Mouse one from B and M because um, the other one needs a wash. And I'm like, I'll use this one. Sorry about the angle. So yes, I've decided to use this one now. I'm so sorry about the um, angles you're gonna see today, and also about like the um, the sound quality. I am, as I said, I am on my. Um, my phone and there's always like a swish swishy noise in the background of my phone and don't know why I just think it's the quality of the phone because it is an old phone like you can tell the moisturise now um but I'm sorry about the noise quality and because I'm not I'm not taking my camera to White Rose or to Leeds or to Wally that matter that's why I take my phone but yes um it's now 10.44 and it's like 
my bus is gonna be like 11 o'clock so ish but yes um i'm gonna track it now back home from Leeds I've been out four hours um don't take my shoes off I'm going back out again I have a day rider today right so my plan for today was getting up early didn't happen um got Leeds got lotly and I've done that I've done Leeds I went to Leeds went to White Rose Centre um went to Leeds picked up Lucy's um entertainer order picks that up um she got two I got two items for Christmas um then I got the bus that's all I went to Leeds for got the bus out Leeds to um white rose white rose i got went to flying tiger and got um the crane thing from mum for lucy and um something else and then i went um to primark and I spent for 39 quid and i also went to sainsbury's but sainsbury's didn't have what i wanted so i ended up leaving i got the bus back into leeds then i got the bus from leeds to home obviously got home and i had a little parcel from sainsbury's they have given me um a tea towel they've actually given me a tea towel and they've also given me a thousand points if i spend if i get some certain items which is nice of them but yes they've i just i was like what i thought maybe it's from sainsbury's like um i thought maybe it's from like sainsbury's as in sainsbury's because i work for them but um they've given me next point so i'm like that's nice of them they've given me a little present so um they've given me this limit like star tea towel which is upside down this cute star tea towel with Sainsbury's in the corner. It's very cute. And I also got a letter as well. Um, but yes, I'm now going to get ready to go back out again. Which is fun. Because that means I need to get a new jumper. Get a new top. I start working four hours. My phone's low on charge. Because um, I've been using the bus. Oh my god, that bus journey was awful. Um, I had a man... Um, I got to the bus stop quite, um, the bus station quite, um, I like 15 minute wait, so I went to Greg's, I got myself lots of drugs, I was starving, and I felt very, I felt a bit okay, so I was like, okay, I guess I should drill, I thought I'd be fine, so I had a sausage roll, and, um, then, after my, so after the sausage roll, the bus came, where's my backpack, oh, it's there, the bus came, and, um, it eventually came, it didn't show up at first, anyway, this, I got on the bus, and there was, all the bus was empty, okay, this man, came straight up and sat next to me two seats next to me and he said hi how are you and um 
I was like, I'm good, thank you, like normal chat. But then he said, do you live in Kirkstall? But he kept stu stuttering Kirkstall. I was like, and I said, excuse me? And he says, do you live in Kirkstall? I was like, no. And you could, like, for the rest of the journey, he kept staring at me. Like, for the rest of the journey, he kept staring at my bags, because I had loads of bags at the bottom of me. And he had his hands in a very peculiar place, so I was quite chuffed that he got off because I felt very uncomfortable. It's like when a lady, a lady got on and went into the next to the other side of him, and you could tell he wanted to chat to her, but she wasn't. She had her headphones in, she was short listening, and it was just like it was just so awkward. I found it so awkward sitting next to this man, and I was so relieved because he shut all the windows as well. Like I get it, it is it is rather cold outside, but it's like the windows have ventilation, of course, and um. He shut them all and it was just like, it was just very peculiar and I just didn't feel comfortable at all. And I thought like when he said next to me that he was going to knock off my bags because of how he was presenting himself. Then a kid came and sat opposite us and he was trying to chat to the kid and he was just like, oh. So no, I, I got off and um, when he got off and the person got on and he tried to chat to her whilst he she was getting on. Because obviously the bus driver was like, could you hurry up? But no, home now. Um, and to go to Otley, then I'm going home, having, then obviously start work at seven dot. It's weird doing that. So and my colleagues on the bus, it's half three now. I'm currently tracking the bus. <clears throat> but it should be tracking it. I don't know why it's still saying it's at Rawdon. Rawdon, yeah, oh. crematorium. Why it's still saying that. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to go. There's one coming right now. See you on the bus again. And just like that, I'm back at the bus stop. Excuse me. Well, Vlogmas Day 2 is not going to be up at 5 o'clock. Tell you that, because it's now half 5. No, half 3. And I'm currently getting the bus to the Otley. So, the... Vlogmas said I will not be up at 5, I'm sorry. Um, I'll get up going up as soon as I get home. Um, but I am... All I'm getting is Prosecco, if I can carry them all. Mum wants six balls as well, which is like, yeah, perfect. If they've got like, if they've got wine carriers, yeah, I'll get six, bo 12 bottles. But if they don't, then it's like, I'm just pissed. I've only got three bags with me. But yes, um, I'm going to get home, if I've got enough time, I'll get it edited, but all I'm doing is literally going to Otley for six bottles of Prosecco, and then something for my dinner, for lunch. I wish I woke up earlier now. <coughs> Back home guys. Back home. Got home. Around, <gasps> sugar me. Hey up. I got home at. <sighs> Let me think. Oh God. Same thing. What time I got home? Mm, I think it was like quarter past five. I got yeah, quarter past five. I got home. So it's now coming up to six o'clock. So I've got an hour. Oh dear. I need to change again because I stink. Because, as I said, sweating problem. Right, I'm changing for the third time today. Second. Third. Second. Anyway, um, had a good time in Otley. I got there. Um, the bus driver is very, very slow. Um, I'm trying to uh, put you down so you can see me, but so that I'm not holding you. Um, yeah, I got there. Why is this tripod not doing it properly? Um, went straight, like, hot walked it to Sainsbury's. Excuse me. Is it gonna focus my face? Probably not, because the lighting's rubbish. Um, hot pocket it to Sainsbury's. <coughs> um, <coughs> in Sainsbury's, I spent. Pack is 
spent more than I thought I would, but I got stuff that I wanted. Um, so I didn't actually go off of my shopping list, even though I didn't take my shopping list with me. I was supposed to have a shopping list with me. Got the bus to Leeds to, and then I remember that I forgot it. But I bought everything I wanted. So it worked out. Um, yeah, I didn't actually go off of the shopping list. I just bought what I needed. And I'm just sorting first out first. I spent, I'll to give the same phrase, I spent £40 and 52p. Um, <clears throat> should have been 63.39. I bought six bottles of Prosecco, they were six for 25% off. Then I bought a pack of mince pies for 75 because I got some coupons really post. Then I got some ham for 64p, celebrations for £5 and some biscuits for £5 for a colleague who's going to pay them back. He took 12 75 off for the buy six, save 25%. Um, but we get 20% discount on top of that. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, um, mum wants me to figure out how much, uh, I can't figure out how much it's going to be because it's taken the discount off all of it. So I have no idea how much it actually was, but it, it would have worked out to, uh, <clears throat> It would have worked out like 20 something pound. But yeah, Lu Lucy's not happy, guys. She's not 100%. No idea. She's just very whiny. Um, but yeah. So I need to just. Some bedroom out now a bit. Because it's a mess. And I'll just plonk stuff and gone. Tomorrow I'm um, decorating my bedroom. And the house. <coughs> it is six o'clock now. I have got an hour to go until my work. It's weird saying that it's pitch black and I'm going to work at seven o'clock at night. It is bizarre saying that. It is absolutely bizarre. It's so weird. So weird. It's so weird to know that I'm working, but I've di I said yes to it, so um, I said yes to your time. I'm not doing it again though, it's only this one that I'm doing this shift, so. <clears throat> but yeah, there's not really else, much else that I've done today. I've done a lot, I've done a lot today. I've done a heck of a lot today. And I spent a heck of a lot as well. I got, right, I'll show you what I got from Lucy's in container order. Since they had two separate, why have you got a different name on it? Oh, it's mine, it's fine. Okay. Um, two separate orders. I've got Lucia How Train Your Dragon 9 Crystal Plush Dragons, the Nine Realms. Um, it was, she, she, as I said, she's obsessed. Um, that was. No idea how much. Can't remember. It came to 15.50 altogether. So. But it came in these handy dandy. Turn the bags which are going to be going in recycling bin so I'll use them again. Um, so I got her that and then I got her this which does have my name on it. Oh it's the person that picked it. Okay. But the problem is they couldn't actually find my they could find the Playmobil but they couldn't find my egg and they said the the system had mucked up and was doing some doing wrong numbers out but they eventually found it. I also got, I'm just confused as to why well I took to this 
as to why it's separate when I order them together. Anyway, I've got loose of this Paltrain Dragon Playmobil. It's got toothless, she loves toothless. Yeah, it's got that as well. <coughs> so I don't have an entertainer. Uh, uh, everything else I think I'm going to put into a haul. I think. I don't know what I actually bought. Oh, I think I'll do a Primark haul. I'll show you. I got the um, wrapping paper bag, so I'll be using that. Um, I use my Cadbury's bag. I like no, I'm gonna use a posh bag. Of course, I kept the hanger for my snuddy. I got a receipt. Oh, that's for um, fine tiger. I got, as you know, the crane toy thing for Lucy for Mum for Christmas, because Lucy's been asking him for one and. They're so expensive on Amazon. And Fine Tiger had them for two quid to go them. But I also got a milk frother. Right, so when we're making hot chocolates, I do have like a mini handheld whisk that you just, like, it's just a manual one. But I was like, this could make it easier for me. This is six pound. But I've always wanted, I've always wanted a hand, uh, uh, one of these. It's just gonna be so much easier. And it goes coming back to of course it doesn't. Um, it's going to be so much easier to, like, whisk up the, um, to whisk the hot chocolate mix. So yeah, I decided today I was going to get one. Very happy I did as well. So I'm like, you know what, whilst to me here, I might as well get it. So yes, I got myself a milk former for making hot chocolates for me and Lucy. Um, just to make it a bit easier for me. It might actually foam up the milk, but in the end, it might help a bit. But yes, that's what I got from Fine Tiger. I nearly did buy, they've got an ink pad, ink pad kit for pets. So like if your pet's dying, or it's gonna die soon, or you want a memorabilia of your pet, um, it's an ink pad where the ink can transfer to your, the pad, or the ink doesn't transfer to the, pa the pet's paw. And I've really wanted one. I wish we had one for summer and for Sky, because we would have been able to do the imprint of the paw before they passed away. Or like, unfortunately for summer, we could have had the chance to do one with summer. Yes, while she was dead, but we would have that imprint of her. But um, it was seven quid, and I've never I've only seen them on Amazon. So to see them, um, to see it in Tiger, find Tiger today, I was like, wow. But I didn't get it because I was like, nah, I'm not gonna get it. Because he'll be there next time. But yes, that is what I can find Tiger. Um, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm, I'm going to do a haul. Because I do have. I did spend 39 quid at Primark. Um, but I'm not going to show the. I'm not going to show the. Sainsbury's stuff. So I'm going to put that in this video now. I'm so sorry if Bob said too. Because I've got up on time. I haven't even opened my laptop to do it yet. I don't think it's going to take me an hour, but I couldn't at least get it on the go, couldn't I? <coughs> Got my Mac to up in there. Get that going. Right. Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, whatever you call it. I used my bags. I actually used my bags because the Primark we gave them paper ones and I didn't transfer it into a... actually transferred it into a... Um, reusable bag so it was easier for me to carry. Um, I got a box of celebrations, a tub of celebrations, £5. I was like, you know what, just to like have my bedroom, it's Christmas, um, always, always have these in my bedroom. I just take the stickers and the bounty out. Um, but yes, I have these in my bedroom, just in my dresser, in a Christmassy tub. They were £5. Because they're going to be there great for going to be editing and stuff. I got, my colleague wanted, has been searching everywhere for these. Um, the Sainsbury's own um, Christmas biscuits. And these are £5. And they've changed the packaging so that's why I couldn't find it. Because I was looking for last year's packaging. But they have changed the packaging. And I think it looks better. It's so cute. It's definitely cute. But you get milk chocolate digestive, chocolate chip cookie, custard cream. Cocoa vanilla cream, milk chocolate syrup cream, jam sandwich cream, dark chocolate finger cookie, milk chocolate ring with a white chocolate decoration, white chocolate shortcake, 
Oaten Wholemeal Biscuit, Shorty and Bourbon Biscuit, Bourbon Cream. I think this is what she wanted. I think this is what she wanted. I'm hoping this is what she's wanted. There's a fiver, so yeah, I got her that. Um, she's paying back when I next see her. Then, as I said, I got some Taste of Difference um, mince pies filled with brandy infused mince meat. I won't be eating these. I've, um, I've got them because I had, they sent me with the tea towel, um, they sent me 500 points of nectar points if I got Taste of Difference um, mince pies. So I was like, I'm going to get them. There's no way I'm not going to get them. Got them. Because if I don't eat them, I'm not going to eat them, I don't like mince pies, if mum doesn't want them, I give them to grandparents. So I just got them as well. And then I got six bottles of Prosecco, the um, Taste of Difference one, 8.50 at uh, Otley, and it's nine quid in locals, uh, but it's 8.50 in supermarkets, and I got six bottles, 25% off, so that's all stocked up for Christmas, very happy with that. Um, but yes, that is it, I got from Sainsbury's. Um, as I said, I'm going to have some Otley. Um, my bedroom is a mess, and I do. I am wanting to get this video, as in Vlogmas Day 2, edited, even though it's now 10 past. Excuse me, 10 past 6. Um, oh my god. So I am wanting to get this done. So I shall see you either. I shall see you later guys. So it has come to the time where I need to start getting ready now. I have got, excuse me, I've got all the clips into my laptop. It's all in my movie. I can't edit it now and get uploaded though before I work because I just don't have enough time at all. So I've got it, my laptop is on currently on sleep. So when I get home at 11 p.m. I'll be able to just open the laptop and get on with it. But yes, I'm now going to get ready for work. Um, so I shall see you when I get back home from work. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's now 7 p.m. and I'm, on to get, I'm getting ready for work. I'm working. It is so bizarre. I just don't like the only shift I've done a late with is I've done a late before. I've done late so many times before, but like um only like three eleven and not seven eleven. So it's weird to go to the shop at seven o'clock um, at night instead of going from three. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's gonna be very weird. But I hope the shift goes fast because I would really, really like to get home. I'm not even there yet, and I would like to get home. Yeah. I I am so happy I got this, so I can't believe it. But yes, I'm now going to be ready, so I shall see you in four hours. Wish me luck. Right, I'm now home. It is currently 11. Half 11 at night, and I'm whispering because we need to sleep, and my mum's sister is asleep too. But yes, I'm now home. Um, it was a quick shift. It was busy when I first got in. Um, but then it died down like it usually does. Um, like from 9 o'clock onwards, we only get like a couple of people coming in. But yes, um, it was not right shift, it went fast. I now have tomorrow off, so I'd have to think about working more, but my brain just does. Anyway, um, the I think calendar is from clearance, so I got this linked I think calendar for £6.50 um, to.